Hi everybody, I'm Raina. Welcome to my counseling corner. Happy Mental Health Awareness Month. Today I want to talk about a few of my favorite books for kids that address emotion and mental health. First, these three books are about being mad, grumpy, or sad. The first is I Was So Mad by Mercer Mayer. Do you remember this from when we were kids? I do. This is a classic. It's good for preschoolers through about second graders. My next favorite is Grumpy Monkey. This is about Jim Pansy. He's having a bad day. Everyone tries to cheer him up, but what he really needs is a friend to just sit with him while he's grumpy. This book is great for kindergarten through third or fourth graders. And lastly, um, Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. Another book about a little boy who's having a bad day, everything's going wrong. This book I recommend, again, for kindergartners through maybe third grade, and it's in our library. Next, I wanna show you two books about bullying, anxiety, and perfectionism. All three themes rolled into two books. The Girl Who Never Made Mistakes is in our EB Lower School mm -hmm. Library. It's about perfectionism and the anxiety that comes with it and the joy and release that happens when she learns she doesn't have to be perfect. Another favorite is Mean Jean the Recess Queen. Kids love this one. I read it almost on a weekly basis, usually to kindergartners and first graders. This is about a mean girl, Jean, but surprisingly, when another girl starts being nice to her, she really softens up, has a happy ending. Last but not least, Guts by Raina Telgemeier. She's a local San Francisco gal, born and raised in the Bay Area. This is her autobiographical graphic novel about her anxiety and how it manifested as um, tummy aches and GI symptoms. I recommend this book for ages eight to 78. It's something we can all relate to, and it's one of my personal favorites. There are a lot of great books that address anxiety in children, and there's a good reason why. Kids are anxious. It's part of being a child because anxiety is about fear of the future and not knowing what's gonna happen. And kids don't really know what's gonna happen yet. Their brains can't quite conceptualize that yet. That's why they need our help. When their anxiety gets too big, we need to teach them tools to calm down and help themselves feel better. So those are some of my favorites. There's a whole lot more. You will see a link to my longer book list of recommendations for kids and a happy Mental Health Awareness Month.